Hello and welcome to another Flywheel Films video. My name is Austin. I have Jared with me here and today we are going to be driving a 270 horsepower, wheel horsepower, Fiesta ST. I am a stock Fiesta ST owner. If you've seen the channel, you know that. I have a 2016 Kona Blue Fiesta with uh, very light modifications done. Um, Jared, what have you recently done to your car? Yeah, so if you watched the last video up on this channel, this car was full bolt-on with a, just a basic Cobb Stage 3 tune. Uh, since then, it has got a TurboTechnix S280 kit done to it, along with some piping, like intercooler piping upgrades, a new blow-off valve, and then tuned by uh, Tune Plus, Adam's the man. If you're getting your car tuned in the Fiesta community, you know Absolutely. about him, I'm sure. So it's an entirely different car than it was two months ago or whatever it was when you drove it. So Yeah, like, I'm, I'm excited. I have ridden in some upgraded Turbo Fiestas, but I've never driven one. Really? So this okay. It's going to be my first time behind the wheel of a upgraded Turbo Fiesta. It was my first time behind the wheel of an upgraded <laughs> Fiesta too when I first and drove it. I'm super excited because it is, believe it or not, around 100 horsepower, 100 wheel horsepower jump yeah. from stock Turbo to the S280. So yeah. we're going to be talking a little bit more in today's video about the different turbo options, uh, why you went with the S280, and uh, most importantly, how they differ, and whether or not your Fiesta uh, could benefit or you could benefit from upgrading uh, your turbo. Alright, so I am in Jared's car. Um, this is not the first time I've driven Jared's car in the last video that we made. Um, his car was only full bolt-on. So today's video we're going to be focusing on three things as far as differences between a upgraded turbo vehicle and a more stock car like my own. Uh, first of which is going to be daily ability. Then we're going to chat a little bit about power delivery. And lastly, just overall driving impressions. Uh, getting into daily ability, in lower RPM and normal city driving, it feels stock. And stock in the best way possible. Uh, it doesn't feel like any crazy modified car as far as weird clutch, strange power at low end that you don't know how to deal with where you'll get yourself or uh, other people uh, in danger with how you drive it. But when you get into it is really when the power changes um, so I'll touch on that here a little bit more in a second but it's very refined uh, it feels just like a stock Fiesta and fuel economy Jared you said you've seen pretty much the same fuel economy uh, uh, yeah it's I mean still like 25 miles to the gallon uh, and that's average both highway and yeah city driving you said you're a little bit more prone to uh, step on it, but that's, uh, I mean, that's a byproduct of having a faster car, I suppose. Oh, yeah. We're cruising at 70 miles an hour in sixth right now, and it is quieter than it was before you had the bigger turbo. Uh, just because the bigger turbo obviously acts a little bit as a uh, muffler. Um, but yeah, it's you're not sacrificing any daily ability by upgrading the turbo on your Fiesta. Um, but do keep in mind, this is the S280. So if you upgrade to a hybrid turbo, like the Woosh hybrid turbos, um, you're going to see a much more similar power band to your stock Fiesta in that the boost is going to kick in a lot lower. Yeah. Um, I, uh, so I'm tuned through Tune Plus, and I initially actually was going to go with the Woosh Hybrid. Yeah, that was, that was your first option. Yes, there. Adam uh, talked me out of it. I messaged him on Facebook, <laughs> and I just said, hey, I'm thinking about going Woosh Hybrid. Uh, you're going to be the guy I tune with. Do you have any advice? And he goes, yeah, just buy the S280. <laughs> Spend the extra, so what I think was it was like his, $250. What was code. his reasoning behind that? Uh, you can get a lot more reliable power out of the S280 for the price. Okay. Um, and uh, just for him, he likes, you know, tuning that kit a little bit more, I think. But he, uh, yeah, he just said go with the S280, and that's really all the convincing I needed. I mean, that man is tuned. Pretty much every big turbo Fiesta video I watched on YouTube, 
before making the uh, decision to do it was just like tune by tune plus, tune by tune yeah, plus, tune everywhere. by tune plus. Especially so, with the S280. Well, that, that makes a lot of sense. So, I, so I've always thought if you upgrade the turbo on the Fiesta, you wouldn't want to get rid of the power band that this car is known for. That makes it really fun. Right. Um, and but, I was worried about that, actually. I was worried, like, yeah. I asked him, I said, am I going to, like, because when he asked me why I wanted to go whoosh, I actually told him, like, I wanted a lower power band. Um, and he said the difference between the whoosh and the S280 is, like, four or 500 RPMs, but you'll get so much more out of the S280 at the top end that it's worth it. So, and, yeah, that, right. that kicks in really well to the next one I want to talk about is the power delivery, because it is way different than my car. Um, it keeps giving where the stock Fiesta does not. Um, stock Fiesta, if you've never driven one, boost comes on, what, around like 25, 3K. Um, and it's really torquey and makes it a lot of fun because it's very reactive. Um, this, the power band comes in, what, probably closer to three and a half, four K? I'd say like 3,500 just based off driving it. I'd have to go look at the data logs to know exactly when I'm getting into peak boost, but I think it's like 3,500. And it's remarkable how much that like 500,000 uh, RPM difference makes with this car. It is insane. Um, changes the dynamics a little bit. Still feels like a Fiesta, but when you get into it, the stock Fiesta kind of falls on its face once you hit like four and a half K. Like there's really no reason to really rev it out because you're not getting any more power beyond like four and a half, five K. Would you agree with the... Yeah, definitely. The stock turbo, I think like once you're past five, you're definitely not getting anywhere. And this car, uh, this car will give you right up to 65. Yeah, being in a Fiesta ST that is still giving you power at 5,700 RPMs is just wrong. Yeah, it, it <laughs> seems very counterintuitive. I remember when you first took me on a ride-along last week after you had this done, it just took me off guard when, like, the initial kick happened, and I was like, oh, that's a lot. And then it kept giving, and you're like, oh, when's it going to stop? But the sound is great, and you have a... GFB blow off valve now, right? Yes. Yep. Also recommended by Adam. And you get that great little. Yeah, it's definitely so not. The boom but blow off valve anymore. Yeah, it's, it's not just a. Psh, it's like a little bit more, I don't know, like. It sounds like a performance car. Yeah, it does. It sounds very like. It's very fast and furious. Very fast and furious. That's what it's like. Yeah, like what just happened there? We are at four and a half K and it, I don't know how to describe it. just like still has something to give you, which is not at all how Fiestas usually are. Like I am constantly downshifting in my car so I can get into that peak like three and a half, four K boost. With this, you don't have to do that. It's just there. You just step on it a little bit more and you get a little bit more. So yeah, power delivery, I can't talk enough about how different it is, and it's not different in a bad way. I honestly didn't know if I would really like how the S280 delivers power compared to the stock car, because I'm sure a lot of people think a upgraded turbo Fiesta is not going to have the same, like, defining Fiesta characteristics. But you still just rip this corner. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like, I, I can't go all the way in it. Which is, no, you can't just floor it anywhere anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. You're actually gonna have to drive the car now. Which that's a whole nother conversation. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it just pulls you out of turns. Like the stock turbo car like pulls you out of turns. This car freight trains you out yeah. of turns. This is this that's a whole nother conversation. This car is leaving slow car fast because it is uh, becoming fast car fast. We mentioned earlier the car's making roughly 270 wheel horsepower. It's not been on a dyno, that's just uh, Adam's guess. And he's tuned a lot of these things. So if so anybody I, knows, it'll be Adam. I believe it. But uh, you got to remember, this car only weighs 2,600 pounds. Yeah. Like, this is over 100 horsepower per 1,000 pounds, which is a ridiculous power-to-weight ratio. We will close with the 
drivability does it still feel like a fiesta yes and no um still handles phenomenally well you can't uh ruin that with a turbo um it is not so much power that i'm afraid to drive it but it definitely uh keeps you in check a little bit more than stock does um yes the power delivery is different it's not quite as eager to get into boost but uh, once you get into it it creates a new very fun dynamic of having power all the way through the top end of your power band and i personally think that this is a great mod to do to your fiesta especially given the cost and the power gains you see for that there's not a lot of cars where you can get a 50 percent power bump more than 50 percent power bump um for the money that a, a s280 upgrade costs like there's really not a whole lot of cars where you can get a bump like that still have it be drivable still have it be fun uh, it's, it's huge and i i absolutely see why this is a, a pretty popular upgrade to do to these cars and that's it a stock looking but not stock feeling fiesta st um Jared, while we're under the hood, tell me a little bit about the mods that you need to do if you want to upgrade to an S280 or just to upgrade a turbo in general. Yeah, um, it's actually really simple to get these cars ready for a big turbo. I'm on the stock intake, um, just a little panel filter drop in, but totally stock in that regard. Um, just an intercooler upgrade and a downpipe upgrade. And, and you have piping to go with the intercooler too. Yeah, I did do some silicone. Uh, almost more preventative piping. definitely more preventative than uh anything uh but yeah that's all you need for the car to be ready for a big turbo yeah uh, I, I don't think people realize how over engineered these cars are yeah um they they can handle a lot of horsepower uh just with supporting mods which is uh, why i think so many people do these upgrades yeah fun fact about these cars forged internals from factory yep and the transmissions can hold a decent amount of power um on that note though, do you have anything that you would recommend doing in conjunction with a turbo upgrade as far as like not necessarily supporting mods, but ones that might make the car more uh, enjoyable? Yeah, definitely. I did some research and it looks like I'm going to have to go with a limited slip uh, differential in the future. I haven't, I don't know exactly which one yet. There are a couple options for these cars, but um, basically every person who's done a big turbo that has it says it's well worth the money. Uh, it should help put the power down a little bit more evenly, uh, get rid of some of that torque steer that we felt, especially in second when we were first getting into it. Yep. And uh, I'll probably just replace the clutch while I'm doing that as well. But other than that, no, I mean, this car is this car is ready to go for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's really impressive to see this car handle that power, just like almost stock feeling until you really get into it. It's, it's nuts to see that this car can, can do that almost from the factory. Yeah. A little, little bit of help. Yeah. Um, well, Jared, I appreciate you letting me drive this. Uh, if you enjoyed this content and want to see more Fiesta stuff, uh, there's definitely going to be a lot more uh, coming down the pipeline. So definitely subscribe. Uh, if you like the video, drop us a like. That helps you to push our videos out to more car enthusiasts. Um, and leave a comment. Should I big turbo my Fiesta? Should you big turbo yours? Uh, let us know. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.